and I can press the C button. That is crazy, right? Hi friends, today I have no idea what I'm gonna do, I just know that I want to make a quick beat and I said why not film the process and show you some tips along the way. So feel free to skip around, this beat is gonna be kinda unedited, so I'll just show you my process making this if this is useful for you. So the first thing I like to do is just open the media explorer and yeah the media explorer is so useful if you don't use it, you're missing out, this, this thing is incredible. Uh, the media explorer, you can find it on view, media exploring here. And if you have it all organized, it pays off so well. So, you can actually make databases and put a bunch of folders in there. But my first thing is actually going to the root folder. Um, for example, if you type the location of the folder in here, you can see this kind of explorer. The cool thing about it is that if you have multiple folders in that folder, for example, I mean this folder right here. Let's actually go one beyond. So what if I wanted to have a shortcut to this folder? I can make either a database or add it as a shortcut. So for example, this drums, add to shortcut list. Now it's going to show up in here. And what I like about this is that you have a drop down arrow here with all of the subfolders which makes it really easy to navigate for example I got all these and this and I can see the categories the different categories so that's pretty cool um, so let's go with the break beats today um, I'm feeling like maybe we should start with the synthesizer um, I have a synthesizer track preset in here that I just pressed I got my synth going. The way I'm doing this track presets where I can just press this any of them and bring up a track template is using the SWS extension and not this. Uh, you got extension, resources, and in here you can have track templates and a bunch of them and you can turn them into action. And then in the action list you can find track template um, and load this like this and put them in your toolbar so yeah um, that's how I'm being able to just load my fairy synthesizer in just one click and get it ready to go so let's open up vital I'm thinking of using this global sampler in here to find some cool stuff search for paths <laughs> there's this one the other day that I Oh, yeah, this one. I really like this one. And I was thinking of starting the beat using one of these sounds. So, you see this thing that I got here on top? This is called Global Sampler. And it's, it's a script that you can pretty much have something recording at all times. And if you find something cool, like you like this sound, for example, you can click and drag it into your project just like this and that is just so awesome and so practical so it's usually really good for when you're dialing synthesizers or sound designing experimenting with sounds moving parameters and maybe you like what this thing is here load it into your project further process it and bring it back and so forth so Let's actually find some sounds in here. I really like that one. So I'm gonna bring it here. That is such a beautiful sound. Uh, the way I'm previewing items is using this shortcut that I assigned to this action of SWS, a preview media item under mouse. That's how I'm able to just put my mouse over here and hear how that sounds. And this is gonna become really useful for where, for when we are chopping samples and all that. Being able to just quickly preview each item. 
just like that it's very very useful so i like that sound so for tempo i'm thinking something kind of really fast really fast 170 something like that so Hundred eighty, kind of like that. I was using S Rames tap tempo. I find it so useful to have it mapped to one key. So every time I wanna think of a tempo, I just start pressing that key, and that window is gonna pop up. All right, that works, I guess, for kind of like the main chords. So I'm gonna just render this. I've I've been really into just rendering these things and moving on uh, because I tend to just spend too much time tweaking the individual things so when having this printed down just less decisions Oops. and I wouldn't delete the track I'm just gonna leave it in there so in this we can loop a couple of times and start playing around with this so I'm gonna bring out my media explorer and I got some breaks in here. One really useful thing about the media explorer is that you can so with this thing enabled in here gonna match my BPM and even if I drag them well. So for example I'm just gonna select any of them and you will see that it's gonna match for example this one that is such a good one uh, however I kind of more into things that are not so oh these are super process I want something less I'm just gonna go with this one. Bring, bring me the break. Yeah, this one is. I like this one because it's so simple and I can play around with this a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate a couple of times, getting the first bar, which is the most simple. So this is what we're working with. Super simple. I really like simple break beats like this. So the first thing to do, I'd like to pitch, pitch up until I think right there sounds sounds fine. Um, just a couple of so let's play around with this. Uh, I have some fun tricks for breakbeats, but the first thing I'm gonna do is just the most simple things. Um, maybe let's make this a couple of times like that, so I can play around in different ways. Let's do some different levels of chopping beats. So level one will be going in and just manually splitting like this, and then changing things around like you would want maybe two kicks like this. Maybe four kicks like this, or maybe a one with the sp spacing. It's pretty cool too. So yeah, you can totally just play around with that, um, manually moving things around like this. And if you want, oh, I'm changing my grid size. This is very handy um, with using my mouse wheel. Uh, you can see my toolbar, I'm changing the grid, it also matches. I'm using this action called, uh, this script called Adjust Grid Mouse Wheel by Me2Bits. It's so, so useful. Uh, I can be zoomed in and I can go really fine with the grid, so I can do more specific things. But it's just so useful to have, like, I can trim like this, duplicate, and now I have... 
So yeah, that's level one, just doing it all manually. Level two, I like to use a lot this stutter script called um, by Edsrain. Stutter edit selected media items. I have this map to this shortcut. And whenever I want to uh, stutter an instrument, I just split it. And this action pretty much duplicates the item, halves the item length. So I get that sound for example i'm gonna get i'm gonna actually get two snares in here and yeah <laughs> that gets too crazy though and i like deleting items using the mouse modifier of um, right here at the bottom pressing command like this and i have that set up to mouse modifiers actually in media item bottom half, I have to left click, command, remove items. This is super useful for things like this. For example, instead of like having to select all of these and delete them, it, I, I really like just clicking and deleting like this. I, I can be more precise with what I want gone. Um, requires less thinking as well. So it's like, Maybe I want to get rid of this one. All right, so let's move on, on to more level three. Level three will be using item modifier script. And this thing is crazy. Um, yeah, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it in here. So you can see the, the, how crazy it gets. I'm going to glue these two items. And let's run this script, item modifier script. And this, just check this out. So beat chopper, I'd really like to bring this up down a bit. So you can see it chopped up the beat and made. And I can press the C button. That is crazy, right? And I can adjust how much of the pitch is gonna go up and down. So I can actually make it go so crazy. Or just not so much. And I can choose how, how many splits like this. Or even double it. Maybe not so much. The fade as well. Uh, this tuplets makes this so good, right? I love that so much. Um, let's keep going and for example, let's if we like that, for example, we can hit apply and further uh, customize this. So I'm gonna actually glue this back again. So now this is our new uh, loop. Um, actually, I'm not gonna glue it. Um, let's further do some fun stuff to this. So maybe this one can have a volume ramp. And yeah, we can totally do this with all of these options in here. So there's volume ramp in here. And I can choose to make it go like this or down like that. So let's see how it sounds with... And I can even do pitch ramp as well, and I can add that. So it will go up in pitch. Ooh, I like that. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Um, let's do that same thing with... Uh, maybe... This? All right, so let's see for these ones. I'm gonna do, um, yeah, the same thing. So pitch ramp. I really like this pitch ramp. Oof. So it can go up and down like. Oof. <laughs> I I like that a lot. So let's actually make that go down, and apply. And we can glue this if we want. Hey, 
<laughs> I really like this. Um, so yeah, that that is an incredible script by Burbert. Honestly, very very fun to use. But a lot of times, uh, I like to do this all manually. Uh, while it takes a lot more times, I think you can get more specific results um, based on the rhythm that you want to do. So yeah, it's it's a matter of like um, having all of the modifiers and shortcuts available for you. Let's make this one reverse like this. And maybe not. And I can adjust the pitch. Yeah, maybe get this. So yeah, the cool thing about Reaper is that you can add effects to items, even just the smallest items. So for example, I like to use this phaser, uh, what was it called, by Jerine? Yeah, this one, Ripple Phaser. Like, that's super cool. Um, I like to have different, let's do a different one in here. Maybe this one can have a saturation, just for the sake of adding something, to be honest. Not the saturation, actually Saturn saturation. And this um, smudge thing. Oof, I really like that. Um, with using racer edits, it's very very uncomfortable to do this kind of thing. So for example, but yeah, you can do most of the things manually if you have your mouse modifiers and everything set up. Uh, for example, I like to hold control and adjust the volume for individual items, so I can do the volume ramp thing. Just like this. And duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And maybe bring that up again. You can even. So for example, other thing that you can do is having envelopes on the items itself. That's another amazing thing about Reaper. If you don't have those items, uh, icons I mean, you can, go to, you can go to preferences, media, and just activate all of this. Uh, not muted, not locked. Actually, I don't use the locked so much, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But yeah, active envelopes, effects, and muted. These are super useful to have. So for example, I can click on this one, pitch, and you can adjust the pitch of this, so maybe you want it to go down. <laughs> All right, so yeah, have fun with this. It's it's just so so nice to just simply chop things, add effects, move things around, and just have the m most simple chords in the background and go crazy with drums. That's a beauty of breakbeats. It's a very very fun thing to do and very accessible to be honest. You only need like two samples, and you can do all these things. Uh, it might not be for everyone though, it's a g genre very weird, but it's fun. Uh, uh, it's, it's fun to do, that's what matters. Um, hope that was useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.